All right, everybody, we're back here. More my player after that last disastrous my GM game. <laughs> uh, and I've been playing my team. I, I went three and one today online. I went ahead, got the Oklahoma City Thunder pack. Think I was gonna get someone good. I get a bronze guy. Every pack I get, I get a bronze. It's like, ugh, come on, man. I do have Michael Jordan, but he's like my only scorer. I'm doing well with the guys I have, but it's kind of getting frustrating to have to work with these bronze guys. And I'm facing people that have like, uh, the last guy had like Chris Paul and crap. It's like, oh, come on, man. You got that team and I got this freaking team. Come on. And I'm still keeping up with you. <laughs> Some people, I am beating them. All right, let's go. And we see the Hawks ready to get to work. Welcome, sports fans. Thanks for joining us. With Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And it's time for NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. And as we All right, bench. Turkoglu. Where's Turkoglu at? There he is. Oh, on offense. Crap. Oh wow! There's the bucket. Good. Alfalo's got his second best. Well, they won't be down. That was my fault. Some more early offense, just like that. Well, that's the best way to get that early offense, Clark. As soon as you come up with a steal, just sprint the other direction. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. He said offensively he wants to see the ball going into the post as much as possible. Uh, that's where he believes they have the dang, mismatch. Miss. So still in the opening quarter and already some adjustments being made. Back to you, Kevin. Come on. Uh, 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 I'll tell you what, the post play has been rock solid right off the bat. Well, that's the key to basketball. Get the ball inside into the paint, either with a pass or with penetration. Williams passes to Millsap. Here's money. Outside Williams. Millsap kicks the tee. Just five on the clock. Money. And you yes. can go to the line with a chance to make it three. How did he get that to go? Even after Come on, go ahead, go ahead. Yes. The alertness and the presence of mind to finish the play. Here's what Atlanta's going with right now. Mike Scott's checked in for Horford. Horford comes in for Paul Millsap. And John Jenkins subbed in for Lou Williams. Nicholson dishes to Maxio. White block shot. Shot is no good. Yes. For money. Tell you what. Bad call for pass. What the heck? The swing of things on the board. Yeah, ah! Early. I mean, that's a great sign. Our ball, our ball though. Here we are in November, and let's see how things are going out east in the early yeah. season. Yeah. Horrible. Ball. They're sitting in the right ball. <laughs> and of course, Atlanta. Right behind him, just one spot down. Checking out Orlando, they've made some real strides here in this young season, moving solidly into the playoff field. And for a team that had been among the league's worst last season, that's an impressive accomplishment. The question is, yes, continue with their momentum. Nelson with it. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. The feed to Maxiel. One forty one left to play in the first quarter. Here's Oladipo. Ah, uh. lamp after coming off the pit. Oladipo's got his first basket. You know, that's been a big part of their offense in the early stages. I mean, their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range right at the rim. And I would continue to I didn't want to pass to him. I wanted to pass to him. The one who was wide open. I, it's this game, man. The passing is so random if you don't press R1. Nice. Well, you can ask for a better teaching ground than that. Boy, did they ever make a mess out of that one. A terrible turnover. Maurice Harkless is checked in for Turkaloo. The Hawks leading by nine. Pass to Jenkins. Here's Money. He's covered by Oladipo. Nice. There we go. 
And back to Ben Holzer, who's with the Spurs for 19 years. Steve, the Spurs, the winningest team in pro sports over the last 15 years. Yeah, I'm glad that Budenholzer has finally gotten his chance. I played for him. Come on, get that. Yeah. He's a guy who loves the game. He's very dedicated, hardworking, and uh, has learned from Blank. the best Nice. to start playing with some energy you know steve do something anything to throw their shooters out of rhythm is what's got to happen here here's oladipo no good they yes the run there. take a look at the rebound totals guys. bad pass oh and steve i don't think there's any question which team came yes with more energy and enthusiasm it has taken them no time to build this lead up on the, the strength of a, a great first quarter offensively and they need to continue to put pressure on the defense and Try to really run away with this one from here. Uses the glass to finish. Bad block. I tried to go for a block, man. Come on. Give me a break. The pick and shook his man. It was straight to the bucket for the easy dude. Very, very well done. Yes. The first quarter concludes on a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. Whew. Ahead. Ending. Welcome back, folks. We'll see if we're in store for a more tightly contested quarter as we move here into the second. Hey, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Atlanta? And they're knocking down that mid-range jumper so far. The other thing that's helped them early... To God dang, quit doing it. ...convert off turnovers. This is how the floor looks for the Magic start in the second. Paul Harkless and Tobias Harris, the forwards. Price is out there with a the follow. And it's Davis in at the five, patrolling the paint. Just five to shoot. Here's a follow. Ah, dang it. I'm going to try to get the rebound if he shot it, but he never did. And then as soon as he did, Lewis Williams freaking fouls him. Ah, I'm benched. All right, back in. Ah, Sam. Ah, go to the basket. Outside T. Here's money. Yes. Money's got 13 points. And for Flalo, he's had the ball in his hands more and more. And he's improved penetrating and creating his own shot. He used to be more of a spot-up shooter, but really expanded his offensive game. Even can mix in a little post-up game as well. Nelson, the pass to Turkaloo. Good. Ah. Nelson. Nelson's got three assists tonight. Well, I'm not necessarily a big fan of him shooting that shot, but they did give him the space. Back to T. Wide open look. And that's a foul. Dang. Call. Over the back. Screw you. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Well, he gave the officials no choice there. Easy call. Went right over the top. Yeah, he's got to go straight up when he's under the boards in that kind of traffic. Hit chest first into the man in front of you. That's a foul. Now the free throw is good. Now leading by one. When the Magic made the big trade they did to send an unhappy Dwight Howard away, everybody thought they'd be the doormat of the league, and that wasn't quite the case. They were able to sneak up on some teams early and had enough talent to battle. Ah. He certainly didn't take advantage of the poor defense, but they can't count on him to continue missing. No, that's for sure, because this no. is too good of a shooter to miss that look consistently. Okay, well, let's check in with Doris Burke reporting from our sideline in this game. Doris, take it away. Well, guys, money in the last outing against the Celtics got down to business. He ended with 20 points. Dang, I cannot get the rebound. He also played some stellar defense as well. And thank you, Doris. It was a performance that has to have their upcoming opponents terrified. Dang it. They, they make it every time. Because there's a good chance the momentum he gathered that night carries right over into this game. Well, some of it will carry over. That's inevitable. It's just a matter of how much. Kevin, he does a great job of moving without the ball. And he gets a lot of good looks because of that movement. And as long as his teammates are setting right. screens and see if we can make these. he can be lethal from the outside. And that yes. is the key, Steve. But his release in those catch-and-shoot moments is also terrific. Yes. What a tremendous game for money. He's got 14 points, and when it comes to rebounding, he has, he's had a nice night there, too. Yeah, he's really been mixing it up in the middle, getting in there and doing a lot of the dirty work for them. Arkless is checked in for Jason Maxia. Oladipo off the pick for Nicholson. 
Turkaloop kicks to Oladipo. Dang it, still makes it. Turkaloop's got three assists now in this one. It seems that every pass they make is leading to a score here. I mean, that's just exquisite ball movement. Yeah, they're making the right play. They're working together, and they're just looking for the best shot they can every possession. Here's Money. He's guarded by Nicholson. Here's Scott. Ah! Grabs the board. Looking Got boxed out by two end. guys. There. A loss to the Boston Celtics. I didn't like the defensive game plan they had going into that one. Just oh! Matchups were wrong, and they didn't bring the energy necessary either. You know, it was befuddling to me why they stuck with that, Steve. I mean, they dug themselves a hole, and then they didn't make the changes they should have to get out of it. Didn't make any good adjustments there. Gerald issues the Corver to the inside. Money. Yeah, there we go. Money's got 17 now. Boy, they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing that ball into the paint. Smash mouth basketball. <laughs> yeah, and it's a strategy that has served them well in this opening half, part. Time. Magic. Well, Nick, a competitive All right, let's get going here. Brought to you by Sprint. And it's been the Sprint halftime report, presented by Sprint. And as we return to Twilight Field, back in on Aladipo. We can win this game, get us the lead. Okay. So it's Atlanta with it. They trail by seven. Outside Teague. Here's money. That's good. Boink. So Teague with the assist. 19 points for money. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch down. No question. Pounded into the painted area and continue to... Ah, oh, come on. My player was in my way. What am I supposed to do? Wolford is out there with money, and it's Millsap in at the three spot. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Pass to money. Loose. Come on, get that. By Oladipo. Here's Williams. Bad call for the pass. Williams has got seven points here in this quarter. Well, since we hit half number two, he's finally come around. The first half was not his best, obviously. So the whistle pulled ah, good foul. For the contact right there. Really was a very strong season, guys, for Jameer Nelson as he bounced back in a big way. You know, he got his scoring up and was acting as a playmaker at a much higher level than what we were accustomed to seeing from him. And Orlando making a change here. Clark, you just mentioned the uptick in assists for Jameer Nelson. He's the Magic's franchise record holder and assist, Steve, with over 3,000. You know, I would have guessed that Scott Skiles had more than that. Me too. Scott Skiles had so many back. Yes! It just shows you the consistency and, and uh, the production that Nelson has given that team over almost a, a decade now. The Magic making a switch here. Come on, go ahead. Yes! The Hawks have shot four of seven as a team from the line tonight. Several misses early. For the Orlando Magic, they come in off a good outing against the Suns. Yeah, that was a strange game. Very shaky defensive performance by the... Out of what the freak? They didn't get... I don't... Doesn't didn't look like it. ...handed to them, but they definitely didn't have to work as hard as they should have. Here is Cunningham, guarded by Nelson. Out to the right wing. A three ball. It's ah. by Vucevic. Vucevic has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Where am I freaking on? And more heartless, the basket on the assist by Nelson. Nelson's got his seventh assist in the game. Here is Cunningham, guarded by Nelson. Money, and he gets Point. it to go. Money's got seven now in this quarter. You know, they really aren't putting up any resistance on the low block. That's the fifth consecutive basket inside. And Steve, these looks they're allowing are almost automatic. And there's the rejection. Yes! The Hawks trail by four. Jenkins, the pass to Money, kicks to Millsap. Oh, yes! Millsap's got seven points. Nice pass there to set that bucket up. 
Yeah, guys, and that's 10 of their last 12 points now coming off of assists. Turkaloo setting the pick for Nelson. Nelson left side. Out to the right wing. Arkless kicks to Turkaloo. Just five on the clock. To the middle. Millsap with the steal. Yes! Here is Corver. He has five. Cutting in. Nice! Taking away the outside shot. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter how good their perimeter defense is if they're going to allow inside looks as easy as. Come on, get that. Nice. Passes to Mutton. Into Millsap, and it's out of bounds to the Hawks as Atlanta retains possession. That's a two from Corver and the go ahead button. Thanks. No good. Now I tied it up. Comes to a close and a battle brings it to a tie. And so after three quarters of play and some great offensive output, this one is tied. In a moment now as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. Well, this is what you talk about when you have the offensive play coming together based on tremendous passing. It's the rhythm. Yes. Makes this so in the game for the Magic, they've got Deron Lamb. Tobias Harris is out there with a the flop. Then there's Oladipo, and it's Davis in at the five spot. And Lamb kicks to Oladipo. Harris outside. Kick out to a follow. Fires the three. Ah, ha, ha, ha. From Harris. Harris has got three assists. Now you think you're a star? Prove it to me and score ten straight points. Take over this game. Be the closer for them in this game. The pass to money. No, I lost it. Ah, come the magic on the break. Oh, Ow, that sucks. Down it goes. Dunk through off a wonderful assist. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense to offense. It feels like they're starting to pick up the intensity as the game itself starts to get a little more tight and close. God damn. Well, that time on the way up, that'll give them two chances at the free throw line here. And here's what's up coming now for the Hawks. They can look forward to the Rockets Arena after this matchup to take on Houston. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. Come on, and yes! Vucevic checked in for Orlando. Come on, and yeah! From the line. For the last decade or so, Atlanta has been pretty consistent always seems to find a way to get to the playoffs and part of that is they've been pretty good against the Eastern Conference. And Oladipo kicks to Vucevic. Here is outside. Six to shoot. Here's Oladipo. Offensive rebound. Showing some strength in the paint. Go, 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 go. The Hawks trailing. It's Williams with the drive. Well, <laughs> well, I can't help it when the computer wants to get their self some points, man. <laughs> well, he almost brought the whole thing down, Clark, by hanging on that long. Yeah, he did. Yeah. It was a great dunk and also a great game we've got here. Here's Harris. Oh, yes. Ah. Uh, Harris has got Come on, we're going to win this game. And for Atlanta last season, 29 wins against the rest of the conference. Steve, not an amazing total, but ending up over 500 usually gets you a playoff spot in the Eastern Conference. God dang it! I worried that they would fall out of the picture last year after they traded away Joe Johnson. You know, they're not a team that can contend for a title, particularly not now with uh, the departure of Josh Smith. But hey, they're relevant in the East, and they've got some good young talent. Let's look at the energy stats, how the hustle game has been going for the Magic. Boy, they're hounding, harassing effort at the defensive end. Very impressive. And they forced quite a few turnovers as a result. Nice! Also really out we have to keep Glenn Davis from hurting us. They tied on him and deny him their ne his next possession. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. And here's Oladipo. 
out to the right wing. Let's it go from deep. Nice. Williams has got his the score. Down low. Money passes to Williams. Here's Money. Ah. Lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot too. You know, despite Come on. a bit of yes. a pathetic fan base, the Hawks always seem to be pretty good at home. 125 or 41. Come on. Go it. Go it. Yeah. Houses checked in for the match. Nobody really seems to talk about it, Clark, but the Hawks have been absolutely dynamite here at home over the last half decade. Come on. Stop up. Oh. Ah, he made it. Why they call it the highlight factory, Kevin. I mean, this place can get rocking and... Think about some of the talent they've had. Marcus! He's now in Detroit, but Al Horford, Jeff T. A lot of exciting players. Bill Zap dishes to Williams. Nice ball movement. Come on! Oh, he got stuffed! He got stuffed! No! Come on, we gotta stop him! Nelson outside. Mike, stop him! Shoots it. Ah, man! Crap. Three point magic lead. The Hawks have gone three of five here in the fourth quarter. Pretty good numbers coming out of the break. Teague, the pass to money. Come on, get that! Ah! My Horford! Oh, yes! There we go. Horford's got four points now in the quarter. They are owning the lane right now. Every one of their last ten points has come either at or near the rim. Great looks in tight because they're finding lanes to the hoop whenever they want them. On its way from a follow for two. Dang it! A follow? Quit making these shots, man! Come on! Ah. Go, 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 go. And now he's getting it going. This is the Horford. Ah, man! Come on. Yeah, win that. Guarded by Horford. Here's the screen. Nelson kicks to Vucevic. Back to Nelson. Don't get it to Flalo. Dang it. They're making every freaking three possible. Big improvement in their shooting from what we saw before the break. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, guys, Mike Budenholzer had some words for his team. He was riding them pretty hard for the number of silly fouls they've committed. Come on, shoot that three. He said, listen, we need to have some defensive discipline. Stop biting on the shot fakes, stop reaching in, and stop giving them three points at the free throw line. We'll see if they'll respond, guys. Thank you, Doris. Here's money. Come on. There we go. Woo. Full night's work on the boards and one trip down the floor. You know, not only is the game neck and neck and tight, but the rebound. Oh, man. Extremely close on the board. Yeah, both teams have really put in a terrific effort down low. Here's Vucevic. Feeds it to Davis. Come on, stop him! Get that! Ah, there we go. Go, 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 go! Ah. Yes! Down by one! Down by one! Keep it away from Jameer Nelson and Alfalo. A moment to check in with Doris Burke. Doris? Hi, guys. I had a chance to find out what Mike Budenholzer was discussing with his guys. Right away, he said he wants to see better effort on the defensive glass and far fewer second chance opportunities. Gentlemen, some of Ah, man. Proved crucial in the game's closing moments. Kevin, over to you. And thanks for that story, Doris. Williams kicks to Millsap. Here's the pass to Horford. It's God dang it! No! Uses the yes. Okay, down by one. Down by one. Boy, they are just destroying them in the paint. You could say that again, Steve. The defenders just aren't aggressive enough down low. Ah. 
Nelson, the pass to Harris. Come on, we got to stop him. They set the pick. Nelson with a screen on Nelson. Harris kicks to Nelson. Ah! Nelson off the pick from Vucic. Shot off the ah! pick. Come on! And yes! Right go, 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 go! And you know why he was open there. They didn't commit too much defense to him, and you can see why. He has trouble making that shot. Ah! Millsap kicks the team. Back to Millsap. Here's money. It's yes! possession right here. Boy, Kevin, you can just feel the crowd on pins and needles right now. Nelson off the pick from Harris. Millsap against Nelson. Come on, Sixers come on, come on. Harris outside. Uh. Shoots it up. Oh, no good. Yes. Sure you go. Oh, another one of those so they can get into the penalty. That's right. No other option but the foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock from moving. And that's an intentional foul. Or a third. I don't know what took him so long, but the coaching staff can't be. There we go. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by two. And Bang. Now is to go for the three to tie. For the tie. Oh, yeah. Good. What a that was a good game. I had some good stats that game. But they managed to come up with the win. You know, nobody wants to lose a close game, Kevin. It's much better to win those tight games. And now we'll send it down to Doris. Well, Paul, congratulations on the Whew. It seemed like this game was getting away from you at points. What does the team take away from this game in terms of experience? You know, we got to do a better job executing down the stretch. You know, as simple as that. Um, this is glad we got this win. We just can't let these things happen in the future. In a from some <laughs> he has to well do better done. executing. I think I did pretty good. Thank you. 612. Great. <clears throat> good. Wonder if that game will earn me any minutes. Just have to see. As soon as it's done loading. What an incredible showing tonight. Was this a game where everything came together for you? Sure was. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. I've been trying to round out my game, and tonight I feel like I finally played a complete game. You feel me? My confidence is at an all-time high. I know it's just one game, but I hope to build on it moving forward. Here, I wonder. Ooh, big game for you, my man. Yeah, thanks. You can go stick it, Elton Brand. Oh, for a little celebration, huh? Celebration? What? Come on, man. Like what? Ah, you're pranking me, dude. Ah, oh, yeah. With you? You wanted to give me a clown nose. Screw you. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. I'm pretty tired. I got that early shoot around tomorrow, you know? I really want to. I, I can't, man. You know, I know how it goes. I gotta be 110% for tomorrow, man. Nope. Not with you. I don't give a crap. Get out of here, Elton Brand. Gotta take your spot. Eh, yeah, smell team spirit. As you know, it's important for me to regularly check in with all of our players. So, how are you feeling about the team at this point of the season? 
Things are great. Hey, I'm really happy with the team right now. I like the direction things are going. Coach has been great. Hey, we just got to keep winning games, you know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Listen, I'm really happy that things are working out for you. Keep up the good work. For sure. Definitely. Thanks for checking in. No, anytime. Absolutely. See, I heard you got a new place. How's it coming along? Oh, man. It's you like it? Good up in there. Yeah? You gotta well, come through. I'll have a barbecue one of these. Weeks. Oh, I'd love to, yeah. I'd love to check it out. I heard the views are really nice. Oh, man. No, always. Bring the lady. Okay. Course. Yeah. The Couple secretary, maybe. maybe. Yeah. That all works. Play some 2K. Oh, have you heard about the new. Oh, nice. It can't. <laughs> All right, awesome. Still should be coming up on out brand soon. I think that was my best game while I had a full meter up on A+. Plus. The captain has indicated we are cleared for landing. Please fasten your seatbelts and welcome to Houston. Get even two blocks on him for the challenge. And the Rockets! And Jeremy Lin's challenge one, huh?